us as content creators here in the Modern Warfare Zombie space, we're always trying to find you guys those meta weapons or that next meta weapon. But sometimes we have to look back at the old reliables and show you guys those weapons that stay meta no matter what season you're in. And that's gonna come from none other than the battle rifles and being the Baz B. Now the Baz B is a old reliable here. It is one weapon that always stays true and always powerful and melts inside of tier three and the dark ether. And today we're gonna show that proof in today's video. So if you're still hesitant on what type of weapon you should be using, you can never go wrong using the Baz B. And if you enjoyed this video and you wanna support the channel, make sure to not only like the video, but sub to the channel so we can continue growing to our goal of 5,000. You guys have been legends so far. and We're almost at 2,000 subs. And the more we grow, the more video views we get, the more outreach we can get. Welcome if you're here and you are new. Hopefully this video helps you succeed and dominate in tier three and in Modern Warfare Zombies as a whole. So without further ado, let's go ahead and drop into tier three. As always, I love, love, love to do these triangle contracts. If I can, usually I'm not the first there. If it is a very dead tier three, I will absolutely do this. Um, but people rush here right away to get their free legendary ether tool and pap three crystal. Now it is broken to where you can only do one at a time. And that's a good thing, a good change. But I highly recommend anybody coming into tier three if it is available. Make sure you are doing this so you can replenish your legendary and also your pap three crystal so you can jump right back into another game if you want to. But this weapon, Basp actually slaps pretty hard. These zombies are going down. And again, I always recommend you have Deadshot Daiquiri. And here's why, like, look at that. It's just putting them down pretty quickly. Once you hit the headshots, they're dropping fast. Here they come popping up this ladder again. Bam, 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 damn. This thing just drops them. Every time, it's just dropping them. And this is why it's an old reliable, especially the the non-conversion kit, just the normal AR. It's great, and it looks like we got somebody down, so maybe we'll go help them out right now as well. All right, we're here, good sir. Your savior has arrived. Toss one of these. Where is this guy? What is this guy, Spartan? All right, man. You go down. Just go ahead. Nah, I can't join. I'm going to solo dolo this. If you're down again, make sure you're hitting that plea. We'll get you. As much as I wanted this so video to be solo, we had to join a squad. Unfortunately, there's just so many people in tier three. Ever since I made this available in the Modern Warfare, well, the Xbox Game Pass, it's just been so many people. And uh, yeah, we had to join somebody, but look at the power on that, taking down that mangler. I can't believe this this weapon's still king for this long. So we're gonna run some contracts here and then we're gonna do an Elder Sigil run with this group because they are the ones that have an Elder Sigil. And uh, we're just gonna farm some contracts and show you guys how powerful this is. We got a Mangler. Luckily I'm here first, thankfully the Scorcher. So we'll try to put it down as fast as we can before the teammates get here. But once we get that armor off of its helmet, with Deadshot Daiquiri, like you're just hitting nothing but headshots and it's putting them down pretty quickly. Obviously, if you don't have mags of holding, it's gonna be rough. Looks like our teammates are here now. But just hitting the headshots, it's just putting them down. Wow, that was fast. That was really, really quick. And of course we get garbage loot. Expected. Let's go do another contract. All right, we have a mega abomination. Let's try and trick it to shoot us with lasers, shoot up in the air, try to get up top. Oh, did that a little too hard. Then try to get up on this triangle, and we missed. Okay. You use your scorcher, you can kind of trick the mangler or the ab mega abomination to shoot its laser at you, which is how you can put it down even faster. We're gonna try to do that right now, see if he does it. Yep, there we go, awesome. There we go, just shoot his face hold there. I mean, it is pretty powerful. As much as I would love to just completely, oh my God, we're just destroying it with all of our, with everything. Somebody's just blowing it to smithereens right now. Um, I mean, I like it, it's chaos. But we're trying to get it to shoot its lasers at us. Oh, this poor Mega Abomination, just getting destroyed by gamers that know how to play this. Uh, here we go. Shoot your laser. There we go. And 
and then it's down. Wow. <laughs> With six people, is that is really, really easy. And I've been getting really lucky coming inside of this game mode right now. And the people I've been teaming up with are extremely good. And it just makes tier three and the Elder Sigil super, super easy. So I highly recommend you guys just join a squad if you are entering tier three. Let's go ahead and find another contract. You know what? I decided to abandon my team right now to show you guys the true power of this Bass B battle rifle. And we're going to go ahead and just completely obliterate this storm ender right now. Um, or storm caller, actually. And show you guys just how powerful this weapon really is when fighting storm caller. Oh no, somebody put on insta kill. All right, no worries. We'll still just wreck him. This will be an even quicker fight. Shoot that hand. Oh my god. This thing destroys with insta kill on. That was an even faster fight than I expected. All right, well, insta kill was active, but this weapon still completely destroys inside the storm itself and against Stormcaller. I mean, I have no doubts we could have put it down pretty quickly if we didn't have insta kill. But we'll get back to our teammates now and do that Elder Sildur run. So my teammates are absolutely just destroying every contract. But we're gonna take our time with this Outlast contract. I, I know I have my next video coming out is gonna be the Reclaimer and I'm really excited for this next week because I think they're gonna be releasing the dual Reclaimer shotgun conversion kit. And I'm really excited to see how powerful that is inside of Modern Warfare Zombies, not only in tier three, but in the Dark Ether, and even hopefully trying to test this out inside the Unstable Rift. But I think it'll be really fun. And I can't believe I'm just kind of wandering around right now because this is insane how we're just dominating tier three contracts. But once we finish this, I'm just going to hop it straight into the Elder Sigil, guys, and we'll, we'll take a look at that. There's no need to see everything else. We're just farming for more money to get looted up for the Elder Sigil. Because this thing is dominating in Tier 3. Even though we have five other people, it's putting down zombies quick. So I want to show you guys what that looks like in the Elder Sigil. Alright, we are here inside the Elder Sigil. And, oh no, looks like we lost somebody. Well, we're going to go ahead and start off with this. Oh, no, never mind. He's there. Perfect. Six people in the Elder Sigil with the Baz B. We're going to start this ACV contract first. Just to show you guys how powerful this weapon is. Because we're going to have a lot of Mega Abominations coming up. Do I have my decoy grenades? And thankfully, there is an ammo crate right here to the left. As we try to take down this Mega Abomination right now. Um, but we're going to utilize that. Yes. Shoot the lasers. I'll hit you in the face hole with this. Perfect. That took a lot of damage out of him. Um, and the Bass B is doing a lot of work. The only thing that sucks is it keeps turning around and there's so many other people. But this is a lot easier than going in solo, I will say that. Uh, but we need to get this one out of the game right now so we can start this contract. Because the second we start it, that ACV is going to take damage. Oh, come on. Put it down, put it down. Should probably throw a decoy grenade, but... I'm up here and the zombies can't come up here, so I'll try to get this down. There we go. Oh no. Stupid disciple. Get out of here. Perfect. Brain rot. Dead and dusted. Oh my god, another mega abomination. So that's another little glitch. You can't um, put down your turrets if there's two people on that, on top of that. So hopefully he puts this down. Perfect. Okay, we got four. Yeah, these guys know what they're doing. I'm just gonna stay up here to keep things moving, protect this out, throw that down. Oh, that was huge, whoever grabbed that nuke. All right, everybody's up, perfect. First section done. All right, now we're at the final ether rift that we gotta kinda infuse on this contract. I mean, this is a lot of fun with this battle rifle. I mean, I, I guess I can properly test it. The only problem is I'm out of ammo now, so we're going to try to get some ammo. Um, that's not cool. Oh, there we go. We got some ammo. Okay. We're just going to continue back to it. Apparently, I have to reload, even though that's not how mags are holding works. Um, <laughs> I think this weapon is just so powerful. It hits. It does hit a lot. 
God, there's so many just elite zombies in this. Oh, put that zombie down. Perfect. Wow, that did a lot of work. A lot of zombies. A lot of zombies. And there we go. Done. Completed. Super easy with six people. Super, super easy. Oh, these guys are real gamers. We're getting this next contract. This guy's already there, so I'm going to go do this other one. This is why the Kazmiers are super important, guys, because they help take down those high-value targets. We're going to equip this. Toss it just right in the middle. Destroy every single one of those zombies. And walk through with this. Oh, looks like our teammate's down, too. Get that one done. And we'll get this last one done, too. There's that guy already there? Oh my god, he already got it done. Well, that was easy. No test to be shown there. Um, awesome. That was quick. All right, let's see this last contract. That was super fast. Jesus. Toss that down there for the boys. We'll go to this next contract. All right, this final Outlast contract. Uh, you've seen the power, guys. It's mainly we're just having fun at this point. With this group of six, it's super, super easy. And, jeez, this thing just puts down zombies so fast. Is that anything to blow up? Is that a monkey bomb or is that... Or are they just killing the dog? Oh, it was a monkey bomb and I just destroyed all the zombies. Oh, well. I mean, this is going to be fairly easy. When you're with this group of six, you kind of just roam freely. There is no real strategy here. You just have each other's back. Um, I'm just going to toss these Kazmiers like my teammates are doing. Because at this point, it's just... Easy pickings. <laughs> it's actually really, really easy. Throw down one of these energy mines. And we're just waiting. Oh, there's a mega abomination. Okay, we're gonna, we'll have to help out there after we take out this disciple. No, sir. Uh oh, he's kind of like stuck. All right, let's all just take out this mega. Toss that, see if that helps. They got it, teammates got it. We have professionals with us right now. We've got some gamers. This is one. This is like smooth sailing right now. But with any of the top guns, guys, the true TTK comes with the Deadshot Daiquiri and those crit kills. I don't care what weapon you're using. You need to have Deadshot Daiquiri because that's going to help you just destroy any zombie in your path. Whether it's a regular zombie, armored zombie, the high value targets. And oh my god, look at the stash. Oh my god, another mega abomination. Okay. Uh, let's just help them take this down and we'll head out of here afterwards. Oh wow, it's dead. Let's see what happens if we can all just focus in on that. So we have a lot of schematics. I'm just gonna drop them here right now for my team because I don't need them. I already have them. If anybody needs it, they can take it. Let's go ahead and go to the expo. Get up out of here. So this is the Baz B. Still a legendary gun, guys. It is super OP still within this game mode. Something that I highly recommend you guys use within the game. Um, obviously, legendary, PAP 3, it's always gonna melt. Deadshot Daiquiri, always gonna hit those crit kills to melt even faster with the TTK and the high fire rate. And uh, it can help you just farm so much high loot in the Elder Sigil. It is something that is very powerful. Obviously, with the ACV contracts, you're gonna have a little issue no matter what gun you are using, um, doing it solo, but with the group, it can easily put down any and everything in this game mode. And it's something that I highly recommend you guys put into your weapons of use when hopping into Modern Warfare Zombies to help you complete contracts or missions or even entering the tier three even faster in the game mode itself. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put the build up on the screen for you guys now. I have this built so it's a little bit quicker for the aim down sight, but also does the highest amount of damage that it can do within the game as well for zombies. And if you enjoyed video content just like this, go ahead and do me a huge favor, guys. Like this video, sub to the channel so you can support the channel as we continue to grow. And make sure to share this with a friend so you guys are up to date on the weapons that you need to be using with the game mode so you guys can dominate Modern Warfare Zombies together. That's going to do it for me, guys. Until next time, I'm out of here. Peace.